Mafia 4's reveal trailer is coming much sooner than you think. On X, user at Kurakasis said, I can tell you that a few days ago, Take 2 began preparations for an announcement regarding the Mafia series. It's hard for me to determine the time frame, but with Judas, I've seen them gearing up for the new trailer about three to four weeks before it dropped, so soon, TM. You might be wondering, who the hell is this guy, and is he reliable? Kurakasis is a fairly new name in the gaming league slash rumors community, and so far he has a pretty decent track record. He correctly named Marvel Hydra and Indiana Jones titles correctly. What he does is research trademarks, affidavits, and other filings that the average Joe wouldn't bother up looking. Even veteran video game leakers such as Tom Henderson think his word has weight. Tom Henderson wrote an article titled, Take Two is preparing for a Mafia series announcement, it's claimed. So even Tom Henderson, a veteran video game leaker, thinks this is news worth sharing and is not doubting the credibility of the author. Kurakasis made a follow-up post which said, For your information, I specifically wrote an announcement regarding the Mafia series because I don't know if it's an announcement of Mafia 4, the next-gen update for Mafia Trilogy, or something else. When I find out more, I'll let you know. Now I highly doubt Take 2 will announce a next-gen update for the Mafia Trilogy. When Mafia Definitive Edition was first announced, it was followed by the promotion of Mafia 2 Definitive Edition and Mafia 3 Definitive Edition, which helped promote the Mafia 1 remake. If anything, Take Two will announce the next Mafia game, and while everyone is waiting a year for it to release, they will announce next-gen versions of the Mafia trilogy. Of course, I'm simply speculating here, but that seems like the most likely outcome. Another outcome which people are currently speculating is that Take Two is going to announce the cancellation of the next Mafia game. Immediately after Kurakasis' post on X, Take Two Interactive announced massive cuts in an SEC filing. The company revealed it will lay off 5% of its roughly 11,000 strong workforce and has cancelled several in-development projects valued at $140 million in an effort at rationalizing its pipeline. The company estimates that it will incur approximately $160 million to $200 million in total charges in connection with the plan, Take Two wrote in its filing. The company expects $40 million to $60 million of the total charges to result in future cash expenditures. The total charge consists of approximately $120 million to $140 million related to title cancellations, approximately $25 million to $35 million associated with employee severance and employee-related costs, and approximately $15 million to $25 million related to office space reductions. So yes, there is a possibility the upcoming Take Two Mafia announcement could be a cancellation news regarding Mafia 4 and more layoffs at Hangar 13, but I doubt it. I doubt it because the Mafia series is a moneymaker for Take Two. Mafia The City of Lost Heaven sold 404,000 copies on Steam. Mafia 2 sold 3.2 million copies on Steam. Mafia 3 sold 7 million copies. And Mafia Definitive Edition sold 1.6 million copies. The Mafia Definitive Edition Trilogy, which is all three games combined, sold 2 million copies according to Take Two in November 2020. According to parent company Take Two Interactive, Mafia 3 sold in, or shipped to stores, 4.5 million copies in its first week on the market, making it the fastest selling game in the history of 2K games in 2016. It's pretty funny that Mafia 3, the Mafia game that most people hate, is the Mafia game saving this series from cancellation. The Mafia game series is here to stay. I'm not leaving. I'm not fucking leaving! The show goes on! Take 2 recently announced Top Spin Tennis, developed by Hangar 13. Top Spin Tennis 2K25 was announced January 16th, 2024, and the game is set to release April 26th. That's a four-month span, from the announcement to the game's release. I would not be surprised if we see the next Mafia game revealed next month in May, during PlayStation's showcase and the game to release a year later in the fall time. Mafia 3's worldwide revealed trailer debuted August 5th, 2015, 
and the game released a year later in October 2016. The only official announcement we currently have regarding the next Mafia game is from August 29th, 2022, where 2K Games announced that work has started on an all-new Mafia project. According to a Mafia game article titled, Mafia 20th Anniversary Developer Interview, Hangar 13 General Manager Roman Hladik said, I'm happy to confirm we've started work on an all-new Mafia project. While it's a few years away and we can't share anything more right now, we're really excited to keep working on this beloved franchise and to entertain our players with new stories. This was from August 2022, and now it's 2024. In May 26, 2022, Hangar 13 Insiders revealed to Kotaku that publisher 2K is focusing on Hangar 13 Studios to work on a Mafia prequel and tennis game. According to Kotaku, the Brighton office is currently leading early production on a new Mafia prequel that will be built in Unreal Engine 5. The game's currently planned to take place in Italy. As developers have finished their tasks on some of those projects, some have been shifted onto the Mafia prequel. Others have joined Project Hammer, which Kotaku understands to be a return of the beloved Top Spin tennis series, and expected to launch before the new Mafia. Baines said during the meeting that the plan is for Hangar 13 to focus almost exclusively on both of those franchises moving forward. The tennis game is codenamed Project Hammer, and the Mafia prequel is codenamed Nero. The funny thing is, people thought this Kotaku article from May 2022 was fake, but now we know that Top Spin Tennis is real. The second thing that caught people's attention was Special Nick from episode 109 of the Xbox Era podcast. The Xbox Era podcast is not responsible for websites presenting these rumors as facts. So I have been, this person has sent me some details. I'll read it out. I'm happy to read it out. Uh, apparently Mafia 4 is set in Sicily in the late 19th start of the 20th century and you follow the family of Don Saleri. Does that name mean anything to anyone? Don Saleri? Is that a person from an earlier Mafia game? Or... No idea. I've never played any of them in Mafia yeah. 2. Yeah, so it's set in Sicily apparently. Don Saleri. Uh, back to a more, a slightly more linear style like the first two games apparently so okay. I, I still now, want it'll be a too. prequel of the first game then sounds okay. that way sounds that way i wonder if um, it's called mafia 4 then perhaps it'll be called mafia the beginning all right mafia. Yeah. now this Odyssey. this second part yes. so this person that gave me the mafia <laughs> details now now this second part is the part that means more to me i never played a mafia game so whatever this second part means a little bit more to me. Now, I don't want to get anyone too excited about this. Um, and I hope this is, oh man, I so hope this is real. So a lot of you that know me will know I have bemoaned the lack of good tennis games. Yes. Over the last couple of decades since yep. we yep. lost virtual tennis. Now, obviously, Sega's probably never going to go back to virtual tennis. Yeah. But... There was another tennis franchise that was quite popular. Started life on Xbox, didn't it? Yep. Do we know which one I'm talking Top about? Top Spin. Interesting. So, I'm hearing that we may be seeing a new Top Spin game. Wow, that is from... un unexpected. Since Xbox era's special Nick has been vindicated about Mafia 4 taking place in Italy and a new Top Spin game in the works, it's safe to assume he's also right about Mafia 4 being about a young Ennio Salieri in a fictional Sicily. I guess we'll find out in less than four weeks when we see the worldwide reveal trailer of the next Mafia game. I know a lot of you wise guys are bummed that the next Mafia game is a prequel to Mafia 1 and isn't in 1970s Las Vegas, but there's a good reason for that. According to Jason Schreier's Kotaku article titled, How the Makers of Mafia 3 Lost Their Way, it says, at first, the plan was to make Mafia 4, set in Vegas during the 1970s. It was an enthralling vision, a video game take on Martin Scorsese's Casino, set in the glitz and glamour of mob-controlled Sin City. It's easy to imagine what that might have looked like, fighting enemies on the strip, managing your own casino, putting your character's name in lights. Plans for a fourth Mafia didn't last long. 
At one point, as two sources recalled, Blackman flew to New York City to meet with Take Two and 2K higher ups. He then told the staff of Hangar 13 that he'd been given a choice. They could either develop Mafia 4 or start something completely unique, a new intellectual property. He said he'd pick the latter. The way it was pitched in the big all hands meeting was, Mafia 4 was a great thing. It's exciting, said one person who was there. But we've always wanted to do our own IP. Hangar 13 worked on a new intellectual property called Volt, short for Voltron, and it was ultimately canceled by Take Two. Greetings and welcome to the Take Two second quarter fiscal year 2022 earnings call. Cost of goods sold included a $53 million impairment charge related to our decision not to proceed with further development of an unannounced title in our pipeline. After the cancellation, Take-Two essentially fired Hayden Blackman and promoted Nick Baines to be the new president of Hangar 13. Now Nick Baines is playing it safe by making the next Mafia game a prequel to Mafia Definitive Edition. Think about it. If the next Mafia game is a prequel, it means less money spent on music licenses and millions of dollars saved for Take-Two. If the upcoming Mafia game is a success, then Hangar 13 will definitely get a bigger budget and we'll finally see a Mafia game set in 1970s Las Vegas down the road. I have faith in Nick Baines and Hangar 13. Just keep your eyes peeled next month in May. And if you're new to this channel, then make sure to subscribe below to be informed on the latest Mafia 4 news. And leave a comment below of when you believe we'll see a trailer. Personally, I believe we'll see the reveal trailer for Mafia Origins, or whatever they end up calling it next month. Let me know what you think it will be called in the comments below. Arrivederci. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more content like this, then please support me by becoming a member of this channel today. Join the familia today at youtube.com slash at mafia game videos slash join. Link is in the description below. I appreciate your support. Thank you.